Hi, this is Bob Elfers, St. John's Golf Coach, and I get to give a little recap from last weekend and uh, what we have coming up uh, for this following weekend. Uh, great event last weekend, and as promised, the weather couldn't have been more delightful on Sunday. Uh, Saturday was, was, was decent, it was warm, kind of, but uh, 30 mile an hour winds out at Greystone and Sox Center. Uh, scores were a little bit high, and after the first round, uh, we got a great performance out of our freshmen. We played three teams at the tournament. Our red team, which is generally our first team, the blue team, which is generally our second team, and this, for fun, we put all five of our freshmen together on the third team. And uh, after the first day, they were only uh, just maybe just a couple strokes out of the lead and uh, uh, had beaten our other, our red and our blue team. So that was, that was really neat. Um, but at the end of the tournament, uh, we played at Blackberry Ridge the second day, uh, second day our home course, and, and our top team played awfully well. Uh, rain the whole day. We had a two-hour rain delay before we started. Uh, we're nothing if not consistent about providing lousy weather to our guests at, at the St. John's Home Invitational. Uh, but we dang near came back and won the whole thing. We lost by one to the University of Manitoba. But uh, as far as golf stat and the NCAA and everybody else is concerned, it's a it's a win, uh, kind of a kiss your sister win, but it was it was a win nonetheless. So the boys are excited, and uh, like I said, the blue team and the white team also uh, uh, did some great things. Uh, Tony Krogan ended up turn coming in third overall in the tournament. Uh, Alex Clare uh, ended up coming in fourth overall in the tournament, and Casey Banks has shot a two hundred par seventy on, on on Sunday, which was spectacular given the conditions. There were only two kids in the whole field of one hundred and fifteen golfers that were under par, uh, and and Casey's round was uh, just it was absolutely tremendous. He's been battling a little bit of sickness, and he was just uh, terrific. So. Uh, we had a great weekend last weekend. All 18 of our kids played, and now we head off to uh, this week and, and uh, head off in a couple of different directions. Our blue team, coached by uh, uh, Joey Polingo, our assistant coach, and, and uh, was a great player here. Joey will lead our second team in the McAllister Invitational, which will be played Saturday, Sunday. Saturday will be at Chaska Town Course. Sunday will be at Dahl Green. And um, they're going to go down there and, and have a lot of fun playing together and, and uh Hope to do a great job. And then our first team, uh, they're going to head down. We leave tomorrow morning, Friday morning. We uh, head down to Orlando, Florida. We play in the Gordon Classic. We've, we've been fortunate enough to get invited to the Gordon a number of times in the past. The Gordon it, uh, has a great field. It's the top 18 teams from last year's national tournament. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So we go down. We fly down on Friday uh, down to Orlando. And then uh, we play on two different golf courses at Mission Inn. Las Colinas and um, El Campion. And being a, a, a guy who can speak many languages, I learned that El Campion means the Campion. I got that from my kid who takes uh, Spanish in high school. Uh, so we'll play both of those golf courses. Looking forward to that a lot. One of the unique features of uh, Las Colinas, anyway, is that it is a, kind of a resort course, really hilly and long distances from green to tea. So for the first time in my coaching career, on Sunday, we're going to use carts. Saturday for the practice round, they're going to play 36 holes, 18 at each course. Use carts for that. And then on Sunday, we're going to use court where we're going to take carts. Now, my guys right now are kind of bucking and saying that we're going to show them that we're a little tougher than they are and we're going to walk. I got the feeling if we do that, it'll be a 12 hour round of golf. So I think the old coach is going to take a cart. And hopefully, I can convince the boys to. But then on Monday and Tuesday, we play the uh, El Campion course. And the neat thing about this resort, this Mission Inn Resort in Florida, is that that's where the national tournament will be held in the spring of 2012, if we're fortunate enough to be able to earn our way into that. So we go to the Gordon, and then the following weekend after that is the MIC Championship at Bunker Hills. And then the following weekend after that is Twin Cities Classic. So three big weekends for our boys coming up, and uh, hopefully we can show up and, and uh, give her heck. Thanks.